first part of the Thriller video, Michael Jackson turns into a werewolf and starts chasing after Ola Ray. This sequence was filmed almost entirely in Griffith Park. This 4200 acre park is a popular filming spot for Hollywood producers. When you leave the vicinity of the observatory, it can get pretty dark at night. I hike here at night at least once or twice a week. It's always fun to imagine Michael running around dressed as a werewolf. The next part of the video is Ola Ray running out of the theater and Michael Jackson running after her. This scene was filmed at the historic Palace Theater in downtown LA. It's been closed for over 20 years now. The lights and patterns on the undercarriage are still the same, just a lot more worn out, and some missing light bulbs here and there. There are some renovations currently taking place inside. It's kind of depressing. We're going to come back at night to see if it looks better. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It looks way better. I don't know why this closed theater turns on the lights at night, but I'm glad they do. One thing you'll want to notice is the floor pattern. That floor pattern is still there. The interior shots of the movie theater were actually not filmed here. They were filmed here, at the Rialto Theater in South Pasadena. This is another historic theater that's unfortunately been closed for a long time. It's one of the few single screen theaters left in California. It's been used in scenes for the movies La La Land, Screen 2, and many others. From the side, you can get a better idea of just how large the single room is. Here's the single screen, and here's an interior shot of where Thriller was filmed. Before you try and visit, you should know that the theater is closed to the public. It's currently being leased and used as a church. Next, we have the graveyard scene. This is not a real graveyard as many believe, but a warehouse studio. You can see that from this other angle. The warehouse studio used is right next to the LA River in the city of Vernon. This place is now a paper company. Now we get to the part in the video where the zombies are roaming the streets. Pay special attention to the columns on the right. They're part of a large flour mill in East LA, still in operation to this day. You can see them again here, in the clip where the zombie's arm falls off. The video also has a clip where a zombie climbs out of a manhole. That exact manhole is located near the mill. The famous zombie dance scene location is in a very industrial part of East LA. The wall in the background is quite distinct and easy to find. It's probably seen at least a few layers of paint in the past few decades. It was certainly a lot more reflective before. I really hope this place gets some kind of historic landmark status. It's pretty unreal to think that this is the exact spot where the dance sequence of Thriller took place. The wall appears to be in pretty good shape, except for some damage on the east end. Many homeless people live on this street now. The building in the background used to have windows facing the street. But those are long gone now. We returned at night and saw just how spooky this place could be. It was, dare I say, thrilling. It seriously felt like the zombies were going to jump out at any moment. Towards the end of the video, Ola Ray runs into this house. As you can see, it's in pretty rough shape now. It's uncertain whether anyone currently lives there or not. 
but there are vehicles parked inside. We came back at night. Everything looks cooler at night. You can see that there are some lights on upstairs through the window. So either someone lives there, or there is a ghost. A ghost that is afraid of the dark. Once again, the interior scenes were not filmed here. They were filmed in the warehouse studio. Here you can see the zombies getting ready to break in. This was done in the same warehouse studio that was used for the graveyard. Thank you very much for watching.